Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. This session is aimed for our younger players aged 4 to 6 and will be working on decision making and spatial awareness. Start with in a 24 by 24 yard grid, you're going to divide it in half. Assign your players into a half and split them into teams. Make sure you set the scene, each side of the square is going to be that team's pirate ship and you're going to assign a coach or a parent who will be the captain. The captain's job is to guide the players through the game. Place all the balls randomly throughout the area and these are going to be cannonballs. The objective of the game is to try and get all the cannonballs off your ship onto the opposition ship. You're going to play for 2-3 to three minutes and the team that has the least amount of balls on their pirate ship at the end will win. If we're going to progress this we're going to allow our players to now dribble across. If they choose to dribble their soccer ball across they can try and kick the ball at the opposition and try and tag them. If they tag them by hitting them, they become on their team. And again, the team with the least amount of balls at the end is the winner. You can play a couple of times and assign different players to be a captain or whatever works for your team. There's coaching points on the session plan, so please make yourself aware of these. The second part of our session is going to be exactly the same setup as above, but this time we're going to place goals at each side. Same idea that the players have to clear all their balls off their side. This time we'll not allow them to dribble to the other side. Instead, nominate one player from each team to go to the opposite side. They can receive passes and then shoot the balls into the goal. The winning team is the one that scores the most goals. You can progress this by only allowing the player in the opposite half to score the goals. After they receive a pass, so then we're working on spatial awareness and getting open. Again, there's a couple of coaching points on the session plan that you should familiarise yourself with on this. And our final part of the session is game time. On a 30 by 20 yard field, you're going to place a goal at each end. We're going to play no goalkeepers at this age, and we're going to try and balance our teams the best you can. Newer players and more advanced players may need splitting up, or you can balance the teams however you like. The goal is to have everyone involved in the game and kick in on a regular basis. There's a session overview on the plan, and you should definitely familiarise yourself with this. Thank you very much for watching, and for more of these exercises, please visit us on YouTube or visit us on p2.soccer.